Hey Aries, Tara Rose Astrologer here with your August 2012 monthly horoscope. So, Uranus has been in your first house all year and it will be there for several more. During this time, you are undergoing a revolution of yourself, your personality. Basically, you're revolutionizing yourself in order to become more free to express your individuality. And you're going to appear more rebellious to others because of that. And But you'll also come up with a lot of innovative ideas that you should probably act on. All right, Venus in your third house. It's only there until August 7th. It's been there. It was there last month. So yeah, harmonious conversations, conversations about love, romantic conversations. Um, love is in the air, man. Love is in the air. All right. <laughs> Jupiter is also in your third house. So a lot of lucky occurrences around your neighborhood, perhaps, and um, philosophical conversations, expansion, expansion of your conscious mind. Um, fourth house, August 7th, Venus is moving into your fourth house and your home life will be super harmonious. Um, I just imagine like, you know, music and drink and food, a lot of um, fun in your home, I imagine, and harmony with anybody who lives there, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, we've got Mercury in your fifth house until August 31st. So you're very creative in your communication right now, and it's really a great time for writing. If you've got like a story that you've been wanting to write, it's perfect for this um, time. Like, this transit is perfect for that. And we've got the sun there until August 22nd. And so your main focus will be on creativity, children, sex, romance. And then on August 22nd, the sun will move in your sixth house, making everything more about your everyday life, work, health, um, fitness, um, service to others. That will be your main focus at the end of the month. And then Mercury will move there on August 31st, uh, having you, you know, talk more about your health and, um, you know, just your work in general, service to others. Saturn has been in your seventh house for a few years and it'll leave on Oct in October. So you've learned a lot about, you know, relationships, I'm sure. You've probably matured a lot. And responsibilities and relationships probably came up. Um, structures, you know, like the coming together of structures, partnership maybe with structures and... Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mars, August 23rd is when it's going to leave your seventh house. So you've probably had a lot of, um, you know, arguments with, you know, your partner or with, you know, even with open enemies coming to the surface, possibly, um, you know, and a lot of activity, a lot of action, maybe exercise kind of happening, you know? Probably would have been good to get out there and do some active things with your partner. All right, and Mars is in your, is going to be in your eighth house, August 23rd. It's moving into Scorpio in your eighth house. So, sexuality is the big thing I see. Um, there could even be like a death of something, like maybe not literal death, but more of, you know, a phase of your life um, ending could happen. Also, arguments about joint finances could happen as well. Pluto in the 10th house, transformation of your career, um, possibly just um, you know, 
transforming the way you see your career perhaps or just your maybe how you appear to the public is changing um yeah could also have gone through a degeneration in your um career but it's it's just um you know degenerating in order to regenerate into something else something better all right so neptune in your 12th house insight coming in intuition um some illusion related to your unconsciousness um yeah, I just feel like it's like a melding of your unconscious self into the collective unconsciousness. And, you know, after that, I feel like you'll come out knowing more about your spirituality and yourself. I don't know. That's, that's what I see. Okay, well, that's it for August. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next month. Well, you'll see me. I won't see you, but unless you comment. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>